Welcome to the Zoom Player command line tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to control Zoom Player through the command line. First, I will open up the Inmatrix web page and open it on the support page. This is what you're seeing currently. From here, I will click on the command line button, which brings up the full command line specification list, as you can see here. Scrolling down, you can see Zoom Player supports quite a few command lines. Okay, next, what we want to do is right click the Zoom Player icon. It can be an icon on the desktop or it can even be an icon in the start menu. And from here, we select the property item and we must be on the shortcut tab. As you can see, there is a target field and here is where, where we enter the command line. Now you need to note that any command line that contains space characters must be contained within parentheses. As you can see right now for the, the executable file, because there's a space in both the Zoom player and the program files, you can see the parentheses here. So, switching to our command line list, we can see that slash f goes full screen or starts in full screen mode. And if we do slash f2, it will open on the second monitor. So, I will just go to the shortcut tab and add slash f2. and click the apply button and click again on OK. And the next time I execute this icon, Zoom Player will start in full screen mode. As you can see, there are quite a few options. You can have uh, Zoom Player locked in full screen mode. You can have it uh, quit or close the player once the playlist ends playing. You can have it automatically uh, scan for the content and uh, open in a specific navigation interface, etc. etc. I hope you found this uh, tutorial interesting and come visit us again.